Hey guys, welcome to the new channel. So today I'm going to show you how you could self-host your PS4 exploits. So what is different in this method is you're not going to use any website or you won't be actually connecting to the internet. So why would you want to do this? I'll give you two good reasons. Two good reasons why you should follow my method. Or, and this is not a new method actually. There are tons of videos explaining this stuff. But this is a very noob friendly version. So most of us depend on some kind of website or any other already hosted websites, you know, Cracker or uh, Jailbreak or PS4. But what if these websites were to go down at some point of time and you just reset your PS4 and you don't have access to that website? What would you do then? So you always need to have a backup of these exploits on your uh, computer. And uh, that's the first reason. The second reason is all of these websites have tons of exploits and most of them you don't even use. For example, most of these websites I have seen have exploits for 1.01, 1.76, 4.55 5, and whatnot. All kinds of firmwares. But we all know that most of us have updated to 5.05 5, and we only need exploits that are applicable to 5.05 5, and not all of them. So you could cherry pick only those exploits which you need for your uses. So what are the prerequisites here? Let's see. First of all, you're going to require a Wi-Fi connection. The Wi-Fi connection that you're going to use does not have to be connected to the internet though. But I'm sure that uh, most of the mobile hotspots are not going to work here. So you might require a router. For the first thing you're going to require is the PS4 exploit host file. So I've already linked it to the description and make sure that you download this particular file PS4 exploit host win uh, version 0.4.6a1.zip. Uh, Alright, so I've already downloaded this here and uh, I'm going to extract the file right here. Doesn't matter where you extract it to. And as you can see, within these, uh, this is our target folder, the exploits folder. This particular version comes already preloaded with certain exploits that you could run right off the bat. The problem is that this has got a lot of exploits for each and every firmware version, while I'm currently on 5.05 .05 and I don't need all these. So I could just delete all these, right? But for the sake of this tutorial, I'm going to delete all of these and use my custom exploit collection. Okay. I have a few of my favorite exploits right here. I'm going to extract it. I've already linked to this in description. If you want, you can get access to it and uh, do whatever I do exactly. So I'm just going to first of all, I'm just going to copy this right here. And I'm going to show you the contents of this folder. So first of all, Within the exploits folder, you need to have a firmware version folder. For some reason, 5.05 .05 is my version and I'm going to go into that folder. And as you can see, I already have five commonly used exploits here. App to USB, disable updates, FTP, HEN and Linux. HEN is a homebrew enabler. As you can see, most of these exploits have just an index.html file. This won't be the same for every each and every exploit you come across. OK, I'm going to show you an example right here. So. This is a very popular uh, plugin right now. I'm going to show the use of this actual plugin, the PS4 Ren, in another video pretty soon. So first of all, I'm going to show you the contents of this. So I'll first extract it right here. And as you can see, most of the plugins, most of the exploits and payloads that you're going to require will come in this format. Quickly, I'll also show you how to download the exploits that you require. For example, let's say I require PS4 Ren. Then I've just searched for Google PS4 Ren exploit. And as you can see, PSX hacks has already compiled this version. So I'm just going to go into that. And uh, here it goes. I'm just going to click here and I'll, I'll get this file. Okay. So I've got this file already and uh, I've just went in. So this has our three folders the exploit payload and uh, readme.md. So the one we are going to require is the, within the exploit folder, right? So this has a, a lot of files. Make sure you copy each and every file. OK. And you're going to go into your 5.05 .05 folder, create a new folder, name it anything you want. But I'm going to name it PS4 Ren. And within that folder, I'm going to paste whatever I copied from this particular folder. OK. And I'm also going to do one more thing. We're going to go into the PS4 exploit host folder and within the payloads, you're going to find some bin files. We don't need them anymore. So I'm just going to delete it. OK, now we are completely ready to run our exploit. So the first step you're going to do is make sure that your Wi-Fi is on. OK, and uh, currently I'm connected to the Internet via my Wi-Fi, but there's no compulsion that you have to be connected to the Internet, as I've already explained. 
you do have the option of just keeping your Wi-Fi open without actually connecting the to the internet. Okay, so first of all, you're gonna go start this PS4 exploit host file, and uh, it's gonna give you an IP. Make sure that you make a note of this IP. So let's get on the PS4 right now. So I'm on my PS4 right now, and uh, the first thing we have to go is go into the settings, network. Make sure the connect to the network is on, and uh, set up Wi-Fi connection. Use Wi-Fi. If something like this comes up, select no, and then go to make sure that you choose custom in this particular step. Select OK. It's going to take some time, depends on your internet connection. OK, so select automatic under the IP address settings. DHCP host name do not specify DNS settings choose manual okay you already made a note of the uh, ip address the two ip addresses that your computer the ps4 exploit host file gave us right so we're going to type that right here click next uh, the mtk settings has to be automatic proxy server do not use so when that's done it's going to say ask to test internet connection just uh, press on the circle button and go back now we are almost set up. Now what you have to do is go to the user's guide or helpful info right here. Okay, press on it. And again, go into the user's guide. As you can see, we got our exploit page running right here. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cache it. Press the cache and it's gonna say application cache successfully. So once that's done, go back. And just to make sure that it's properly cached, I'm gonna go to the network. I'm gonna disable connect to the internet. And let's go back and try it again, right? Shall we? So here we go. Users guide, users guide again. So we do have it here. And I'm gonna try to run the homebrew enabler right now. Okay. Yeah. So it says welcome to PS4 Hen version 2.1.2, and it also says all done. Have fun with homebrew. And I'm gonna go to my XMB menu again, and uh, let's see if it has worked or not. Okay. Go to the settings and on the bottom of it you see debug settings so we are all set and our homebrew enabler is running properly so this was a quick video on self-hosting your own exploits okay so i hope you like the video if you like the video just leave a like below and make sure you subscribe to the channel because there's more content coming up leave your comments below and if you have a better method of doing it please do let me know all right so i'll see you in the next video bye guys